Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day today. It's a beautiful day here in Michigan. I wanna do a video today talking about two things. It's summertime, it's deck season time. Some people like myself are gonna be getting into deck projects and there's all kinds of great options out there, but today I wanna to focus on two things. Durability of some different Trex composite options as well as the temperature and sunlight. I spent a lot of time looking into these different deck systems and we're actually gonna replace this boarding which is just a traditional wood plank board with a composite Trex board. And we've been looking at like a bunch of different options. And two things for us that we're looking at is durability and how hot does it get? So let's do this. So we have actually got a pretty big deck project we're gonna be tackling here pretty soon. New railing, new deck boards, and we've settled in on Trex boards and Trex railing. Know a lot of people that went with their products, pretty happy with it. My deck framing construction is set up decently and we've been looking at two different product line offerings the enhanced lineup which are the boards uh, on the top and then this is the transcend uh, down below and I do have a Trek signature right there in the middle but I'm going to go from gray all the way to brown and we're just going to show you two different things how well they hold up to scratches and how do they show for temperature and then I'm going to compare it just for durability and temperature to our uh, traditional wood decking right now. And this is a Sherwin-Williams, I think Deckscape is what we used when we painted this deck uh, a few years ago. So I'm gonna start over here. This is nothing crazy scientific, but I just wanna give you an idea of which colors, which product lineups hold up maybe better towards scratches. And the ratings on the website to me don't represent what I'm just seeing firsthand. And then just kind of look at when one is scratched up different colors I think do better with scratches. So I'm just using this just as a representative of a four-year-old being a, a bit of a four-year-old and, and getting into dad's tools and messing up some things up. So just gonna kind of do the same thing. Four, 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 four. That one really kind of gouge. Two, three, four. Now we'll go here. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I tried to focus all the scratches on the left side of the screen from prior tests. This is stuff on the right. But as you look, you can kind of see the lines that just, you can kind of see the lines that just did there, the four, four here, four there, four here. This was the one where I really noticed I think the light catches that brown. It, it, it's more noticeable to be, honestly, I think. And then four there, four here, four here. This one by far does the best. This is the signature uh, Whid Whidbey color, but it's like hard to see. But this, it's scratch, but it's really hard to see. And then you have this one four and that one four. Now, this is a bit subjective, but the way when I look at all these and I just kind of see the way the light hits and reflects off the scratches. This is by far, this one here holds up to seeing the sunlight hitting scratches. I mean, no matter what angle I look at this, I can barely see marks on it. That one does really good. I would say after that, I would say this one looks pretty decent too, the Island Mist. Um, and then I would maybe actually go with the Transcends Rocky Harbor. I mean, you kind of got to look for it to kind of find that. Then after that, no, not that one. No, maybe this one. This one, I think just like, it doesn't catch the shadows. Now, if you look there, it kind of picks up. You can kind of see, and then obviously you can see that. This one, this one, it's just my opinion. But when I look at all 10 of these samples, I see one that clearly stands out for the best for showing scratches. But when I go to, from enhanced to transcend. I think this is about 50% more expensive. I don't see a significant difference in scratchability. Now, just for reference, let's just let's just do my standard wood board. So I mean, you still get marks in it. You could still see the four scratches. It still shows up on a regular wood board like you would with a with a composite deck. So now I'll do something really extreme. And we're just going to try to make it super noticeable here. I'm going to go in the middle here. I mean, that just really chunked that up. Now let's go to the transcend and do the same thing. Okay. 
Now we're going to go to the best in the lineup because that's the one that really does great with at least showing the scratches. So right off the bat, you can tell, I mean, there's significant, significant marring in, in this. You can kind of see both the transcend and enhanced. If this has more wear surface, I mean, it's really hard to notice on my unscientific test, but this one, this one clearly shows the best. I mean, you can see some markings, but gosh, that's incredible. This one to me is by far, if you're worried about wear level, is by far the best I've seen of all this. All right, so now let's get to the fun stuff. We're gonna start with the enhanced Rocky Harbor in the front. Let's see what temperature this thing is right now. About 130. Let's go to the clamshell. 125 to 130 range. Similar with the toasted sand. Similar with saddle, 120 to 127. Let's go coastal bluff. A little bit warmer there, maybe five degrees. Now let's go to the transcend lineup. So this is Havana Gold. I'd say it's about 122, 123 range. Let's go to the Spiced Rum Transcend. It's about 127 and 130. Now let's go to the Signature Whidbey. Pretty similar, about 130 range. Now let's go to Island Mist. This one's a little warmer, 135, 136. And lastly, the Transcend Biscayne. 127 range so now for just a bit of a comparison let's look at the deck board i'm seeing 130 to 145 on my deck here so when i go across all of these i just see a range of about 130 range across so i don't see a significant difference in temperature right now granted it's it's sh it's shy of 70 degrees here in michigan but when i put my feet on all of them Similar warmth. I don't feel anything that really, really sticks out. Maybe these two are a little bit warmer. Maybe those two a little bit warmer, but nothing too crazy. Hey, I hope you found this helpful. I know this is a really expensive uh, endeavor for most families when you start doing these composite decks and railing. You could spend a lot of money. So you want to do your homework and understand durability. How will it last? Can kids run on it? Will it hurt dog's feet or or whatnot? And so far from what I'm seeing, I'm not seeing a huge difference as far as durability of the scratch liner or the scratch resistance between the Trex Enhanced Naturals versus the Transcend. And the temperature is not a huge swing. Now, I'm sure if it's 100 degrees in Texas, bearing down sun, you might have some different results, but here in Michigan, I'm not seeing a massive difference today. Anyhow, if you enjoy the video, feel free to like and subscribe. Have a good one.